Lunair Airlines is one of the largest airline companies in the world. They operate flights to all major tourist destinations and have a large IT environment to support their business. Their network environment have thousands of devices. These devices include routers, hubs, and switches. They use CA Spectrum to monitor and manage various devices on the network. The network operators and administrators of Vunair Airlines need to keep a track of all these devices and take actions when alarms are raised. To perform these operations they use one-click console frequently. The one-click console can be accessed from different systems. However, the constraint is one-click console has a dependency on the latest JRE and this diminishes the flexibility of accessing one-click console easily. The network operators of Vunair Airlines are very happy to know about the web client feature of CA Spectrum 10.1. CA Spectrum Web Client is a lightweight URL that will help network operators or any other users to perform management tasks easily. Web Client eliminates the need for Java version and patch update dependencies. Using this web interface users can access alarms, global collections, landscapes and can perform various other operations. For a better user experience, during filter operations web client retrieves up to 10,000 alarms of an alarm category by default. It also allows to configure this number in the range of 1 to 50,000 in preferences. Here is a snapshot of CA Spectrum web client. A web client page contains Filters pane Alarm pane Selected filter Local filters Triage buttons Alarm Management Buttons, Preferences, and Alarms Dashboard. Let's now watch a demonstration on how to use the web client of CA Spectrum 10.1. Users can access web client either by accessing the web client URL or from one-click console. Let's click web client from the one-click console. Observe the web client is launched. During launch, Web Client connects with the specified one-click server to retrieve latest 100 alarms. The alarm pane displays the latest 100 alarms and also highlights their severities. You can view all the alarms displayed by clicking the All Alarms option in the Alarms pane. Web Client also provides the flexibility of setting time filters for the alarms. For example, if time filters is set as one hour, the alarms raised in last one hour will be displayed. Sometimes network operators create logical grouping of devices that they monitor. This is named as global collections in one click. Web client allows to view alarms from the global collections of the one click console. Observe in this scenario, three global collections of the one click console are displayed. Selection of these display the alarms raised on those devices of the global collections. Global collections hierarchy of the one-click console can also be viewed through web client. Let's move to landscapes. Landscapes are used for performance scalability and a like one-click console, you can view the alarms of the selected landscapes. Often, customized alarm filters are created on one-click console. All those alarms filters are displayed in web client under the alarm filters category. Let's select the high CPU filter. Note the alarms that have high CPU utilization are displayed. Web client also allows you to sort the alarms based on their severity, date time, name and so on. You can also view more details in the alarm details and in the alarm impact view. The Topology view shows the alarm and the associated devices. Navigate to the Triage buttons. The Triage buttons has Ping, Paul, and Trace Root buttons. Now, let's see how to send an ICMP ping to various devices. Select the device that you wish to ping and click the Ping button. 
observe the ping results sent via the web client. Similarly, you can perform polling. Select the device you wish to poll and then click the poll button. Observe the polling results. In the same way you can view the trace route results by clicking the trace route button. Observe the trace route results. You can also acknowledge and unacknowledge the alarms. Select the alarms and click the respective buttons to perform the action. To clear any alarms, select it and click the clear alarms button. You can also assign a troubleshooter. Select the alarms and click the assign troubleshooter button. Web client retrieves all the troubleshooters that are added in one click. Select a troubleshooter from the drop down list and click OK. When you assign a troubleshooter to alarms, a mail notification will be sent to the troubleshooter. You can also raise service desk ticket from the web client. Select the alarms and click the create service desk ticket button. Observe the service desk ticket has been created successfully. Remember, if service desk integration is not enabled, web client throws an error when you try to create a service desk ticket for an alarm. You can customize the look and alarms display of the web client by setting your required preferences. Any changes done in the web client, such as in the alarm settings, filters and view will be available in the next login. Once you perform the required tasks, use the sign out button to sign out from web client. I am sure now you know how to use CA Spectrum 10.1 web client. To learn more about CA Spectrum please visit the CA Education website.